What is going on guys? My name is Bucky Roberts and welcome to your very first tutorial in C programming. One of the most popular programming languages in the entire world. And also before I even start showing you guys how to code or what programs you need to get up and running, I want to mention this. Whenever you're watching these videos, make sure to watch them in 1080p and also full screen. And that's because I'm going to be recording my entire desktop. So if you're just on YouTube and you try watching it in that little uh, video player, then it's not going to work out. So again, watch it in full screen, 1080, everything is going to be crystal clear. Now, I'm also guessing that you guys probably already know what C is used for, and that's why you want to learn it. Maybe you want to make like a computer game or something. But for those people who are just watching these videos, and maybe they just want an idea of what you can do with C, it's basically used to make any software on your desktop, like all of uh, these programs you can make in C. Also, you can make computer games, and you can pretty much um, use it to program any electronic, like uh, robots, vending machines, stoplights, your microwave could be programmed in C. So it's basically um, a very widely used program language. The only thing that you really can't do with it is you can't like make websites so if you want to um, learn a program language to make websites then I recommend checking out my PHP videos that's uh, probably a better place to start so again if you want to program robots make computer games and awesome software then you guys are in the right place so there are a couple things that we need in order to get you know up and running so we can actually code a C program the first thing is of course a place to write the code now you can just use anything like notepad or if you, hey, you even have this this basic notepad right here but look at this thing it's like the ugliest program ever I highly do not recommend this so again you need some place to write your code and another thing that you need is a special program called a compiler now what a compiler is gonna do is it's gonna take the code that you write and turn it into code that the computer can understand the ones and the zeros so that's the job of the compiler so of course we need to download one of those because you know it doesn't come on Windows by default so how are we gonna get both those programs well if you go to Google and you type in code blocks and hit enter go to this uh, website codeblocks.org now after you go to that what this what we're going to do right now is we're going to download a piece of software and it's actually completely free which is freaking awesome and this is not only the place that we write the code such as it's like an awesome version of notepad but it's also a compiler built into it so this one program has every single thing that you need and like I said free how awesome is that so go to downloads right here and it's gonna say okay you have to choose a couple options the binary release the source code or so source code from the SVN what we want to do is just get the binary release It's the most easiest way and then of course it says okay what operating system do you have well I am using Windows if you're using something else then choose your options down here but I'm gonna click Windows and now I have one more option to select and that's what um, piece of software do you want to download this basic setup this one that has this min GW option whatever that is and this one with all of this stuff with some numbers after it well I'll explain the different versions right now what you typically want to use is this min GW setup and this first one right here is just the raw program it's just the IDE basically just the notepad part of it now this next one this min GW this is the compiler it's it's what you need my guess is that you don't have a compiler on your computer already so download this one and then after we write our code it's gonna allow us to translate it to a program that the computer can run and that we can test out so again you guys are gonna want to download this one and this is just a, um, a different version and it says right here um later on I read it earlier but it's a new version and it might have some bugs in it so this is the stable one right here the IDE and the compiler so I actually like to download it from a uh, source for source forge kind of a tongue twister so go ahead and click that link right there 
And I hate these download pages. They're like one little thing and like 87 ads. But anyways, um, and this is probably going to take a little bit to download. So I'll pause my video and um, just uh, unpause it when it's done downloading.